Our latest mask mandate, now in effect until September, might mean muzzling the arts. Madison Dane County's public health order says performers in musicals and plays will have to mask up during their shows under the current mask order. Brad Hamilton spoke with people in the local arts community today about this decision. Brad? Well, Susan, some here at the Bartell Theater are just in a state of confusion right now. They're trying to figure out how to perform in the midst of a mask mandate. Mask or no mask? That was the question that many had in the local art community. Madison Dane County Health confirmed that under the current mandate, the show must go on with everyone, including performers, wearing a mask. A lot of people who have been responsible and, and doing the right thing, who have been looking forward to at least some sense of normality, is now being punished. That decision has been met with confusion for folks such as Steve Knoll, who's a director for the Bartell Theater's upcoming production of Clue. Think about like a restaurant, you know, the mask mandate doesn't affect the restaurants. You can have people packed together, eating and drinking without masks, but yet having an actor that's 20 feet away from you without a mask is somehow not allowed. Noel says the program has gone above and beyond to make sure their environment indoors is a safe one. For example, every single member of the cast and crew has been fully vaccinated. Also, every single person who does attend must wear a mask and also show proof of vaccination. So we put in a lot of precautions to make sure that audiences can see the show in a safe way for both the actors and the audiences. But if the current mandate continues as currently constructed, Noel production would be canceled. Especially a comedy like Clue cannot be performed in masks. You know, we would have to cancel the, the production. Well, Noel just wants to emphasize again that he understands the mask mandate. He just doesn't understand why those protections that he's put into place aren't enough right now. Reporting live tonight in Madison, Brad Hamilton, News 3 Now. Brad, thank you.